holding people accountable without you know, violating their free speech. Sure. And again, I would remind you that there is no, there's no First Amendment right to conduct. There's a First Amendment right to speech. And the things that we're targeting in the bill are not speech. Again, if someone wants to stand across the street from my house and wave the sign on the sidewalk, they have every right to do that. And this bill won't have anything to do with that. But when it veers into conduct, and so the way we're going to approach this is through a hate crime kicker. So if you project, if you graffiti a building, it is a crime now. But if your motivation is hate, it will be a third-degree felony. You will spend five years in prison. They, they put you in jail right away. No trial, no, no nothing. If you want to litter, it's a crime right now. But if you litter and it, your motivation is a hate crime, it will be a third degree felony. You will spend five years in jail. You're playing music too loud, right to jail, right away. It is a crime right now to hang banners from an interstate. For obvious reasons, we don't want to distract drivers. But if you do that and you have a hate crime, a hate motivation, it will be a third degree felony. You will spend five years in jail. You undercook fish, believe it or not, jail. You overcook chicken, also jail. Undercook, overcook. How optimistic are you of moving this bill along? I guarantee the bill will pass. And I never do that. <laughs> you make an appointment with a dentist and you don't show up, believe it or not, jail, right away. We have the best patients in the world because of jail.